What's up guys, it's Dimitri here and today we're going to talk about drumsticks. So a little story. When I started playing drums like 12 years ago, I went to a teacher and the first thing that he taught me about the drumsticks is the ways you can grip them. So why is that important? Why are there different grips? What kind of grips they are? and which one would be better for you and which one would you choose. So today we're gonna talk about it. You see, like everything, like every sport and every hobby and every profession that you're holding something and you're banging something else with it, there is a proper way to do it and a not so proper way to do it. Why are there standards and why are there rules? Even though they're not mandatory, it's better if you follow them. Well, because throughout all the years that the drummers have existed and the drumsticks are, have been existing, which are, you know, thousands of years, by trial and error, there are certain ways you can hold a stick so you don't, A, hurt yourself, so you can get maximum force without actually wasting a bunch of energy, so you can get more precise, or if you're playing jazz and stuff like that, you can get more finesse. And by the way, just a quick disclaimer, no drummer will tell you this, and certainly no drum teacher will tell you this, but actually it doesn't really matter how you hold the stick, as long as you don't hurt yourself, play the notes correctly, and have the energy to withstand a live show or a recording session. But anyway, so there are two primary ways you can hold your sticks. It's either a traditional grip, which looks something like this, or a matched grip where both sticks are being held the same way. Now, I don't have any experience with traditional grip, nor I have any intention on doing so. So today I'm gonna talk about the three ways you can hold your sticks with matched grip. So matched grip means that you hold both sticks in absolutely identical way. First grip that you can use is the German grip. What German grip looks like? Well, you just hold the stick like this, like just somebody is hanging it to you, you're getting hold of it, and when you're playing, actually, this is how it looks. So your wrist is absolutely straight with your forearm, and if you place a drumstick, it should be in line with the whole wrist, and the motion is forward with a bit of an angle. So. The motion which you're going to play with is like this. And if you're looking dead center in front of a drummer, it will look something like this. This is the German grip and it's arguably the most powerful in terms of energy to force ratio because with this grip you're using the physics and the natural forces and gravitation and you're expending the least amount of energy for a single hit, but you're getting the, the maximum amount of force. However, the con to this grip is that it's not very precise. So I don't say that you cannot get proficient with it and you can't get precise and play really silent ghost notes all the way up to high accents, but it's way harder. It's like using the power glide mechanism of Tama Iron Cobra or similar pedals. You know, you can play quiet, you can be precise, but it's just develop brute force and, yeah, power. And this is how it looks top down. Now the second grip is probably the most used worldwide and it's called the American grip. It's most used because it's the middle ground between the first and the third and it combines power, precision, ease of use, if you will, and it's been preferred by most of the drummers. I say most because, you know, nothing is written in stone, and there is no certain law, but the most drummers, including myself, are using the American grip most of the time. So the American grip is sort of a German grip, so instead of having your wrist in line with your forearm and holding the stick at an angle, you just rotate your wrist a little bit and the stick points a little more to 
to the front, not so much at an angle. So it looks something like this. Now, for all of you drum teachers, if you're watching, and all of you academic drummers, I know that what I'm saying might not be 100% as the curriculum you've been studied, and that's fine. I mean, I'm a self-taught drummer. So what this grip looks like when you're watching dead center is something like this. The sticks are pointing more forwards instead of at an angle with the German grip. And yeah, that's the motion. The motion is again up and down, you're a little bit at an angle, so it's something like this. Because this motion of the wrist is giving you power, but not much precision. This motion of the wrist is giving you a lot of precision, but not much power. So the American grip is something in the middle, and if you put a stick, it looks like this. As I said, the American grip combines precision and power to a certain extent and it's the best all-round grip and it's good for rock, pop, maybe even jazz. I don't know, I've never played jazz, but you know, you can play soft, you can play hard and you've got a pretty relatively good control of your stick. So this is how it looks top down. And now, the final grip is the so-called French grip. French grip is actually the outer end of the spectrum, which I said is this motion of the wrist. So you're holding the stick like this, with your thumbs pointing up, and your wrist is at just a slight angle of your forearm. So it's not a, it's not a straight arm, it's a little bit like this. So if you put a stick, it's not so straight. So, why this grip exists? Well because it's very precise, you can do very pre precise ghost notes, you can play really really quiet with this grip and it's very very good for finger technique if you're going to do blast beats because this way when you're using the fulcrum of your fingers you can go really fast just by doing this. Um, you can do finger technique as well in the German and the American but it's just, uh, at least for me, I don't find it as fast. I don't do French grip and I try to do my blasts with American grip all the time but if I want to get really really super high speed I'm switching to French. This is how it looks top down. And now as I said in the beginning of the video the ugly truth is that nobody cares and nobody gives a fuck and it absolutely doesn't matter which grip are you choosing. It's more like can you play your drums, can you get good sound out of them, can you play your notes cleanly? If you can, even if you're holding the stick like this, you're fine. But if you're holding it like this, more than likely you're going to expend more energy than needed and you're going to injure yourself more than required. Actually, it's good if you don't injure yourself at all. So that's it guys for today. This is my quick guide for grips, why are they used, what type they are, and if you'd like to support me and want me to be your mentor and talk on a weekly basis via voice or video, and you want me to teach you on how to play drums, how to get better, how to get your channel growing, or any online presence, you can do so by becoming my patron. So hit that like button, click subscribe, share, comment, you know, everything helps. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.